Hi, Mahakita. Hello. 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 So we know that Filipinos are amazing singers, but apparently, Mommy, they are also respectful. So you guys suggested this. Michelle sent me this awesome video, and it's just titled, I Love How Respectful Filipino Culture Is. So we're going to, I guess, learn about some Filipino culture, culture right now because that's exciting, right? Yes, they're very helpful, yes. warm loving people and a special shout out to our patreon of the day nicole mahakita nicole thanks so much for subscribing to patreon where i post beauty cooking uh tips there about being american and it's just it's great i love my patreons you guys rock and we're just gonna jump right into this right mom yes yes and thank you guys for sharing this video and giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for more content just like this one that's how i really support myself mom I know this isn't singing. Look, she's looking tired already. Get up. Wake up, Mommy. Don't fall. She's like, oh, this isn't a song. I can fall asleep during <laughs> no. it. <laughs> no, I was just I was just looking at this young man here. Okay. I thought I thought you were wishing that, that it no, was a singer. No, it's just my eye, my eye level. Is, uh, I got to look. Yeah. All right. Did you know yeah. the Philippines takes respect for their elders very seriously? The other day I saw a line at Burger King specifically for senior citizens. Oh, wow. At a Burger King. You would never see that in America, especially at a fast food burger restaurant. <laughs> it struck me like a light bulb. If you listen closely around the streets of Manila or the Philippines, you'll hear words like pa, ate, and kuya. These words are meant for respect purposes. Pa is basically Mr. and Mrs. Kuya is used for when you're talking to an older male, and ate is used for when you're talking to an older female. In English, we have no words for this. I don't call my sister Rachel Ate Rachel, or Mrs. Rachel, I call her Rachel. Even further, it's common for grandchildren to ask for the hand of their grandparents when they walk into the house for them to place that hand on their forehead as a sign of respect. It's Aww. called the manopa. And I actually manopa. made a video about this a couple months ago and it did quite well on Facebook. My point is that the Philippines takes respect for their elders very seriously. And uh, I think that's a pretty cool aspect of their country. But I actually wondered, like, why do they take this so seriously? Well, it's culture. It's deeply rooted in Filipino culture to take care of your elders, to take care of your parents. And I also think that it has something to do with how family oriented the Philippines is as well. It's somewhat common in America to put your parents in an old age home when they get older. But here it's common for the parents to come and live with the children when they get older. They care more about the family. They have that utang na laob, which is basically translated to a debt of gratitude. <laughs> While in America, we might forget what our parents did for us, they do not forget what their parents did for them here in the Philippines. And this term, this utang na laob, it, it runs deep. It's not just, I'm gonna pay you back later, or it's not just like a debt that you have. This is like a togetherness. This is like you're sort of bound to someone's soul. You know, this isn't just like, a, oh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get you later. I'll, I'll pay you back five bucks. No, this is a deeper togetherness that runs as deep as anything in life. Caring is sort of like a huge Filipino trait, if you think about it. And I know Americans care too, but it doesn't run that deep. You know, it, it, it tends to not run that deep. I had someone travel four hours, someone who didn't know me. He traveled four hours to come and see me at a meetup the other day. I've had people who just met me you know, throw out the table for me and, and place tons and tons of food on the table in front of me five seconds after shaking my hand. This is a country that cares, actually cares. And that's one of the big reasons why I've continued to stay here. And the fact that I've, I want to stay here for longer. What do you think about this? Do you think that showing too much respect can go too far? Did you learn something new? Did you like it? Please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Tom out, as usual. Bye-bye. Oh, he's a photographer? He's like a YouTuber. He has like his YouTube stuff right there. Interesting guy. I'm going to subscribe to him. Finding Tom. Very cool guy. Definitely very, very cool guy. And wow, I don't know. I'm very uh, shocked right now because I had no idea that that they had a seniors only line at Jollibee. 
in in the Philippines. Isn't yeah, that, why can't they do that here? Yeah, my mom would like that. Let's uh, let's yeah. put that in the suggestion box. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, tell, let's tell our president. Look, I, uh, we know there's a lot going on right now, but we need a seniors only <laughs> only line in our fast food restaurants. Please, McDonald's, Jollibee, Burger King, you know the deal. Somewhere that you can get faster Big Mac service. But I think I respect you, right? I've very I've I've been here this whole time. I think oh, I'm good, yeah. Yeah, no. You're unique. I'm very unique. You know, a lot of people are not like that. A lot of my friends are like, Well, your parents have each other. That's what they said to me. That's what they said. They're like, Your parents have each other. <laughs> we don't need to go there and stay with them during this pandemic. We did. We needed yeah. it. Yeah, so I stayed with my parents. Because we've been so busy that we don't have time to think of, of uh, our whole change of life. <laughs> it's a change. It's definitely a change. Guys, are you with your families during this pandemic? What did you decide to do? I've, I've been talking to a lot of my friends. Some of them went back home. A lot of them stayed by themselves alone. And I just I just wonder, I'm like, why would you do that? That I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know how anyone could do that. It's hard. And I have other friends who call me and they're just losing their minds. They're just, they sound like they're they're going crazy every single day. And I'm just like, well, I'm sorry. They're like, oh, come back to L.A. And I'm like, well, I'm with my parents. <laughs> so, so yeah, yes, I think very I'm very happy about that. I'm respectful like that. I, I could never put you in an old age home, Mommy. No. Uh, Lauren was always <laughs> like that. She always uh, got along better with uh, her grandparents than her cousins. <laughs> Her great grandparents. Because right? I'm an old. Someone told me it's because I'm an old soul. Uh, that's why. Because I'm a very old soul. So I'm probably technically older than you, mommy. Oh. Yeah. How do you feel about that? She's saying no. You're. Well, not. we. <laughs> I mean, no, we. She's like, no, my soul is older. We learn. <laughs> we learn from our children. I never really understood that until you know I got older. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did you learn from me? Oh, I've learned a lot from you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's a first i never knew you learned anything from me yeah what'd you learn your phone <laughs> <laughs> technology <laughs> no I've, I've learned all about the yeah i mean that's a big thing uh technically we I, we uh we're now into the 21st century or whatever century we're in now um with our phones and i i probably ne i ne didn't even want a phone yeah. Everybody was saying, you're the only one that doesn't have a phone. I don't need a phone. I want a phone. And she bought me a phone. She bought me an <laughs> iPad. She got me an Alexa. She got me a, a robot vacuum cleaner. <laughs> but anyway, th that's the material things. But uh, no, what I learned from uh, Lauren a lot is uh, that she's a very caring person. And, uh, I mean, she she wouldn't even uh, kill an ant. <laughs> <laughs> God, so he killed a moth the other day. She, sa you know, she saves. Sad. She saves the world. Uh, Lauren, Lauren saves. The world. Thank you. You're just like, making me look good. We got to talk about how <laughs> we're different than the women in the Philippines. I, I guess maybe I, I, I said I'm two percent Filipino in my ancestry DNA thing. So maybe oh, it it's because yeah, because it's because the. I wish I had the singing gene. Jeez. You hell? have a great voice. I know. We just have to work on it. We have to work yeah. on it. Yeah. No, you always, always could sing. But I really do want to go to the Philippines, and I really loved his video. I can't believe... So he... It looks like this guy, this this Tom guy, moved to the Philippines and is making videos there. That's amazing. I wonder how... How is it there, guys? Are you guys safe yet? What's going on? We're slowly starting to, to open things back up, but it's really weird because in New York, where we are right now, they keep they keep changing like the the, the things. And honestly, thank God that, that a lot of your family members aren't in those nursing homes because that's where a lot of people here got sick. So it's just yeah. I know yeah. I was clean. I was helping my mom clean out the closets, and I guess they saved all these papers for different nursing homes. Like, I'm like, they had a folder of, like, their preferred nursing homes. I was like, we're throwing this away. You're not going to go move in a nursing home. I thought that was the craziest thing. But that, maybe that's an American thing. Does, is, it, is that an American thing, guys? Let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, no, I wouldn't. you you got to move to California, okay? Can you yeah, move to California? Yeah, See, she, that's what they said. They said you have to move to, move in. Yeah. So we got to yeah, just. Yeah, she has a, a beautiful home and. In California. <laughs> Everyone always asks her, like, aren't you too old to be living with your parents? And I don't think you're, I don't think that's true. I think family is a good thing, right? Yeah, my, 
my grandmother lived with us a long time and, and she, um, she had three sons. And so what she did as she got older was she would spend three months with my dad and mm-hmm. with, with yeah. us and then go to the other, um, son, spend three months and, and, and it was really nice. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. I love you guys, Mahakita. Thank you for supporting me and watching these videos, liking, favoriting, all that stuff, and enjoying these videos with me and my mom. has been very fun. It has been fun. I'm still here in New York, so we're still making videos. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want us to react to. Bye.